Well, we're in the car, and you know what that means. That means we're on our way to the airport, and there's cars that are fucking loud as shit outside, but we're going to O'Hare, uh, and we're gonna be getting on the plane. The plane, boss, the plane. On the way to LAX for Anime Expo, it's like 6.35 in the a.m., so <laughs> that means in L.A. it's like 4 in the morning. Um, we're getting in around 11.30, and we're going to go right over to the convention center. So, unless there's some kind of major problem, the next thing you'll see of me will be probably looking for the bus at LAX to jump on and head down to the convention center to get our passes. Well, we made it through TSA in record time, so I stopped at Bubbles to have a mimosa because if you don't have a mimosa at 7.30 in the morning, then what are you doing with your life? Well, we made it to LA. We're on the, the shuttle with a bunch of other weebs headed to Anime Expo. And, uh, yeah, so we, we didn't die. That's what it's like. Alright, we made it. Got our press reg all done. Gonna you know, spend a few minutes in press on checking out what's going on here. And then uh, probably head out to the uh, to the brother's house. We'll get to meet him. And then uh, we have nothing tonight except the Crunchyroll party tonight at 8 o'clock. So we'll be there tonight. Hey, what's up? We got John. This is the coolest Uber. It's not uh, Uber. It's Lyft. Uh, no, it's Lyft. It's the coolest Lyft driver ever. Everybody calls it the uh, it's the Uber no matter where the, what. Whether you're in the Lyft or the Uber, it's always Uber. That's good branding. That's very good branding. You're absolutely right. So I got that media pass all done. Now we're popping over to go and see your boy Mac right quick. We're going to drop over there. He's out by Muscle Beach. We're going to go hang out with him for like a half hour, and then we're going to pop right back here because money means nothing. So we'll just do two $50 cab rides. Second take. Uh, so there's a window over there, and um, I definitely had the window in frame, and it focused on the light from the window. So uh, basically, you guys, I forgot to vlog because we got kind of busy. So right now, what we're doing is hanging out at my brother's apartment. I uh, came in, just uh, rolled in like a freaking drop and sale to my bro's place and uh, dropped my luggage. And I was going to go right back to the convention center, but then we decided to get some lunch at, or dinner. I guess it was like lunch, dinner. And then we decided to play some magic. So we went and got some Thai food and played some magic. And uh, now we're back here just kind of waiting for the party while he does some work. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, that's my brother. His name is Mac. Uh, I'm doing a little pre little pre-gaming on this painting stool. Uh, I'm watching some Netflix with a uh, little red woman thing. Smashly. Smashly. Yeah, that's, it's, I don't know. Things are fucking weird in LA, guys. I don't know. Um, that's some weird LA shit. So, uh, yeah, um, we're going to head over to the Funimation Loot Crate party uh, probably in about half hour, 40 minutes. And hopefully there'll be some time to vlog there. Uh, that goes to way late tonight, and then um, we'll be back, and in the morning we have to start off the day production IG panel. So I will see you guys there. I had to add one more thing. So my brother was really upset that I didn't bring pants, because we're going to like a club for this, for this party tonight. And he was like, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? What oh, I... um, you're going to be kicked out of the club because uh, you're not wearing pants. I have shorts. I can't. I don't know. You can see it's like I have shorts on. It's kind of hard to see, to be honest. But I am. I am definitely wearing shorts. Uh, I do not. I do not pants in Los Angeles where it's fucking hundred degrees. Not hundred degrees. It's like a seventy-five, and tonight it'll be like seventy. It's like eighty it's downtown. Gorgeous. It's fucking hot. So this is my brother's apartment. It's <laughs> it's pretty lit. It's like a kitchen, really nice living room. There's a bedroom and a bathroom over there. Lots of storage. It's pretty lit. It's in like El Segundo though, so we're probably gonna get murdered. It's not in El Segundo, it's in Venice. I just like to make fun of him. He's over there not paying attention because he's working on work stuff. Yeah, so that that's it. I mean, that's pretty much for the plan. And uh, I have another drink. Oops. Where are we? We're on a bus. Where are we on a bus? Venice and something. Venice and something. Seven? Maybe. How long have we been on the bus? We've been on the bus about... Uh, 30 minutes? How much longer do we have to go on the bus? Maybe 35. I hate buses. I don't understand why. Buses are great. It's fucking sick. We got the magic wristbands. 
Thanks, bouncer dude. He's with me. Okay, so they let me in, and not only that, but we're in the VIP section, which only has like four people in it right now, but still. I have to scream really loud though, because it's fucking. <laughs> there we go, they're in the vlog. Everybody's on the vlog now. Wow, that's a YouTube, YouTube famous. I have it's Eric, it's kind of loud, but that's Eric from Funimation. We're still at the club, it's fucking lit in here, and really fucking loud. All right, that was lit as fuck. Like, Holy shit! <laughs> that's my boy right there. He's running away right now. That was the the crunchy roll. I lied. The Funimation Loot Crate anime party. It was basically a fucking an old bank that had been turned into a club, filled with nerds who could dance. Most of them could dance. It seems like. I was on the dance floor and a lot of them could break dance and I was really intimidated by these anime nerds who could break dance and I don't really understand why. Now we're gonna go get burgers. Bum trick. Okay. Listen, we're here for tacos, but he's doing and she threw up. shit with She literally thumb. threw up all over the bar. I'm trying to get some food, but huh? this guy... Yeah, he, it's I all double jointed. Weird. You're all in the vlog, by the way. Say hi to the vlog. Yeah, we're trying to get some food, right? This guy is really was really messed up. Yes. Well, we didn't die. Fiona's been an asshole. It's been great. Oh, what a dick. This guy, I get him into a part VIP party for free. He gets free drink tickets and he calls me an asshole. Great brother, this guy, huh? Pretty sure he's the dick hole on this one. So, all our phones died and we had to like walk to the bus and figure out how to get back. So we did figure it out though, so now we're on the way home. Mm. About an hour and we'll be back. It's like midnight, 15. So we'll be back around 1.30. And uh, we'll get started tomorrow morning. You're not coming with me. Nope, not going to the con. Just me. What's up guys, it is uh, Saturday, July 1st, uh, I have a little bit of a hangover, as you can probably hear from my <laughs> my breaking voice. Um, so, first thing that we're going to do this morning is uh, probably go to the production IG panel. Um, other than that, I don't really know exactly what we're doing, so <laughs> let me see if I can... Just take a look at my schedule and see what's up this morning. Uh, my phone is being very unreliable scheduling-wise, so I'm going to take a look at the PC and see what's going on. It's uh, 9 o'clock, so it's almost almost 9 o'clock. Uh, I was going to head over to the Expo Hall right away at 9 o'clock, but um, I slept in because we went to that Funimation party last night, and that was a party. Uh, that was quite a party. So right now, it's like the first thing we're doing... Uh, first thing we're going to do is go to the production IG panel at 11.30. Uh, and then we also have a Viz panel today. Uh, spotlight on Yen Press later. And then tonight, um, Resident Evil Vendetta screening. Uh, Kotobayoki Summer Roundup. And then at 7.30, Irregular at Magical High School uh, premiere. So, pretty stacked day today. Um, kind of got meetings from like 11.30 to 6.00. Didn't really leave myself much time for anything other than that. Um, tomorrow is a little bit less insane. Um, with a loot, with not anything starting to like 11. Loot Crate is at 11. Tip Mouse is at 12. Indivisible is at 1. Uh, I have a break from 1 to 3. And then at 3 o'clock I'm interviewing Mr. Iwakami, who's the new uh, trigger panel from 4.30 to 6. And Good Smile panel f at 6.30 to 7. And then uh, Taku's expansion into the gaming world, which is uh, like a lewd gamer thing, at 10. And then Monday is pretty clear for me. I just have the A1 Pictures panel and the Lupin the third premiere. And then, of course, Tuesday, the last day, everything's winding down. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything on Tuesday. We're probably just going to go to the Expo Hall and hang out. Uh, we'll see what's up with that. But, yeah, so Saturday, July 1st. Uh, very successful party last night. Thanks, Big thanks to Loot Crate and to Funimation. And uh, Boombox for putting that on. Uh, really great event. 
and um, hopefully today is a big successful day for me. Uh, I haven't, uh, I've got to get myself over there first, uh, first panel at 11.30, and uh, we definitely want to make sure that we're there uh, in time for that, and get over to the press room, get sat down, get our stuff kind of set up. Um, pretty good stack of business cards from last night, from the networking party. Uh, a lot of a lot of guys that are just kind of um, I don't know they're like a lot of those guys are, are media people but there's also a ton of good networking in that stack so uh, I still have soaking wet hair so I just have to brush out my hair and then I'm gonna catch a lift over to the to the actual like con center because like, I'm still in Venice so big thanks to my brother for letting me stay in Venice saving me all that hotel fare awesome choice and uh, we'll see you guys next week we'll see you will be Hi, it's Mac and Nikki in Vignette. Uh, I don't know why my camera's shooting in Vignette, but it is. Good morning. Good morning. I made it to LA. Mac and I went to the parte. Nikki worked hard all Friday. Poor Nikki. But yeah, these are my hosts very graciously hosting me. And behind them is the, the red, what do you call it? Smashly. Smashly. Yeah. I'm, I'm a host, like, Fiona is a virus. Uh, definitely a good metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> line con is life. This is why we press pass. Look at that line, guys. The intensity is insane. That is three levels of anime. Coffee and tea there. This is a cafeteria area. We're up on level four up here. And then way down the bottom down there, you can kind of see it. This is the, li the library, like basic area way down there. I haven't made it out to the floor yet. I don't know if I'm going to make it out to the floor today because I just have a full slate of panels, but right now we're headed over to the level four rooms where we're going to find ourselves some pony cannon panel action. At the end. So you have to stay? Okay? Don't be it. I'm watching you. Okay? <laughs> I will turn the mic over now to, I'm not sure who's doing this one, but it's Tanya. All right, take it, Tanya. And I will give you your $5 after every <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir, you. Uh, do you have an estimation on the price of the Pandora box? I, I, I have an exact price on the Pandora box. It is $230. <laughs> So this is West Hall, which this year doesn't post a lot of anime stuff. Um, it's going to be a lot less crowded, I think. On the left here, where the in the vestibule is the country, the Crunchyroll vestibule, and then this is kind of down in towards Petrie Hall, which is where the at least E3. That's where the media room is, but here it's serving as a panel room. So we're going to go down there, get ourselves in line for the. Panel for uh, Sentai, I think. Sentai's live panel. And then uh, after that, we're heading to lunch. But this is just a little bit of a look at what it looks like. You know, I haven't even made it to the expo floor yet, but there's some, some great cosplays out here, of course. Um, last time I was here, it's been so long since I've been here. Last time I was here, uh, all of this was basically covered with, you know, anime stuff instead of what it is now, which is kind of open. Um, West Hall is being used this year for video programming instead of for anime stuff, which is a little weird in my opinion, but that's just my opinion, so. <laughs> uh, and we've got all kinds of food stalls this year that weren't here before. On the main food eating area is over there. There's a pole right now you're looking at, but it's over there. Oh, we've got some cute mates. Very good. And then, uh, so that's, that's West Hall right in front of us. That's why there's a sizable uh, Overwatch booth there, but no anime stuff this year, which is sort of a bummer. So we're gonna turn right and go to Petrie Hall and get in line for Sentai. Well guys, Sentai does not fuck around. All of Petrie Hall is Sentai. Um, I'm here 20 minutes early and it's 
already jammed full of people. I don't even know who all these fucking people are. So I'm gonna see if I can find a spot kind of closer in for you guys. But wow, I mean, this is... Sentai is not fucking about. Hopefully it's quiet enough to hear. I am over here sitting down in the hallway of the fourth floor. It's crazy, even though it's my first day. Super loud, super crazy. I stopped to charge devices. I have always bring with me a power strip. Anytime anyone asks me why, this is why. I'm charging a phone, charging a spare battery for phone, and I'm charging my 3DS all at once. No one power outlet, so I just one. Although I'm using the 3DS another one, but so that's why I always bring Power Strip with me. And I've stopped just for a little bit. It's been a full day of panels, uh, Sekai, Funimation, Pony Cannon, so many panels, and then now I'm gonna head over and do the premiere of the Resident Evil movie, and then the premiere of the Mahoka Coco movie. That's still tonight, and then the party after that. It's gonna be a long night. It's nearly 5:30, a little bit past 5:30 now, and. Uh, Still pretty crowded here over by West Hall. I'm actually headed out of the Expo Center itself to go over to the JW Marriott, which is where you will find some of this year's video programming, and to make it over there for the Resident Evil movie premiere. So I'm going to just exit down here through these doors, and then we kind of just cut left through across the Staples Center there and then around through the left to go to the JW. So this is the JW Marriott and Hilton, or sorry, the Hilton Ritz Carlton Tower. And this little area that we're about to walk around into the corner of here is LA Live. Uh, over here is kind of, there's a ton of restaurants and things in this little LA Live area. And uh, that's where we're headed to go into the JW, which is where there are panel programming rooms to spend some time. Okay guys, we just came from two separate movie premieres. Uh, we saw the Irregular and Magic High School movie as well as the Resident Evil Extinction movie. Uh, they're both pretty good. Resident Evil animation was really fantastic. Um, I feel like I probably didn't really know the whole story there. I'm not a big Resident Evil fan but there were some great classic characters that showed up and the animation was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really enjoyed that show. And then immediately after that, I came downstairs to do the irregular Magic High School with Maho Kokoka, no Rutosai uh, movie. That movie was off the chain. Um, the Irregulars of Magic High School, if you haven't watched it yet, is a show that was probably like four years ago, four seasons ago. And it was probably my, one of my favorite shows that season. I had two full seasons. It was a really good show. Um, it's about a brother and sister who have an insane amount of magic power in a world where magic is a weapon. And so it's highly regulated by like war treaties like a weapon would be, like weapons of war are right now. And it's kind of about like, instead of being about, I guess, the moral implications of having, like, weapons of war that are magic, it's more just about, like, the people and, like, humanizing these weapons and, like, whatnot. And the movie was definitely about that. Um, I won't spoil too much plot for you, but everybody that you love is back. All your favorite characters are in the movie, and it's a, it takes place over a spring break, so it, it's, like, canon in the middle of the seasons. And you do get to see some awesome Kitsuya action, of course. Uh, it's probably, you know, everybody wants to be there for that. Uh, I would recommend it. It was, I think, about 90 minutes long. There was a Q&A afterwards. Uh, I didn't get to film any inside, of course, because it was a movie. Same with Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil was good. I just didn't really follow the plot as much because I'm not a huge Resident Evil fan. But uh, it was at least able to, I was at least able to understand the plot. It wasn't super dense. It was just that it was really rough if you don't know all the characters. Like, Leon showed up in the middle, and I didn't really understand where Leon had been since Resident Evil 2. So, not being a giant Resident Evil fan, I definitely feel like I was missing a piece from that. But it was still awesome. Um, so now it is 9 o'clock, and I'm just kind of going to hang out at uh, JW Marriott's lobby and just kind of write for a while. Um, I went to a lot of panels today. Um, just for review, I mean, we did Yen, we started off with Pony Cannon, and then we did Sentai, and then we did Viz, and then we did Yen Press, and these two movie screenings. So I have a lot of stuff to write for you guys. Hopefully by the time you see this vlog, it's all out on the website and you're reading it. 
that's it for today. Um, going to one party tonight. Don't probably won't vlog there. It's at the bowling alley. It's loud. Probably won't be able to vlog there. So uh, if I don't see you guys again until tomorrow, tomorrow is day two. Even though technically for me it's day three, since I've been here all day Friday doing work as well. Tomorrow's schedule is also friggin' stacked. Um, we have A1 to start the morning, and then. After A1 is uh, Tip Mouse, I have a meeting with Loot Crate. Uh, we're gonna see Indivisible, which is the new game from people that make Skull Girl, that made Skull Girls. Uh, we're gonna be interviewing Mr. Abatawa for uh, Mr. Abatawa, sorry, uh, Mr. Abatawa is the new president of Anaplex of America. Uh, Indivisible event, and then we have the Trigger Panel and the Good Smile Panel, and we'll close out the night with an adult panel called Mitaku's Expansion into the Gaming World. Uh, I'm just gonna take a little look at a new company that is doing adult, uh, adult VNs. So that's about it guys, um, and I'll see you tomorrow.